Hi, people. Just a quick little recording that I'm trying. I'm trying to make quick, and um, I just realized I was typing in ten twenty three twenty three. This year is a year of magical numbers for me. The last time I recorded, it was eleven. It was eleven eleven on October eleventh, along with my whole waking up almost every night to certain numbers. But that's not what I'm talking about today. I'm trying to make this quick little video before I go do my kick-ass workout, which I haven't talked about very much at Orange Theory, and it's a little side thing that I'm doing because I'm not totally happy with my self-defense fight training and looking for a different school or, you know, to, alongside with my Krav Maga stuff. So um, I failed. I, I really tried to think about using that word, but I'm going to say it was it is a failure. I tried to record the other day, again, a winging it sort of thing like this, and then I decided not to use it and to re-record, and I didn't do it. So um, what I miss out in saying, and that it was kick-ass, is that I had just come out of my workout at Orange Theory, back to them, is that they f forced me to do things that I despise doing, like running on the treadmill and lifting weights. So the advantage of me going to a different place because I was going to a client's house, since I'm still doing some facials, the client who works at Folsom Prison that we always have great conversation with, um, the advantage of going to other places and seeing what they're doing is I got to donate for breast cancer awareness. So I didn't even know about it. So I like that. Um, I was get like giving back in some sort of way, especially with something like that. Um, of course, all sorts of preventative cancer sor sorts of things, which I haven't even dived into talking about holistic health. <clears throat> and I could talk about my fascination lately with this gum that I'm trying to find a bubble gum that doesn't, that still tastes good and long lasting and is okay for you. There's a bunch of different kinds out there, including erythritol <laughs> and these different things, but um, I haven't found one yet lately in my search. Okay. So back to today, um, going to the workout, trying different places, being able to blend into different systems. Um, they still do at Orange Theory. They still do these different sorts. It's just, it's like the structure is the same, right? I'm getting into this. Okay. Going to different schools. This reminded me of, because I had to go to a different place to go to different schools to try different fighting systems. And that's how I tried all the different ones. I don't know if you've heard me talk about, but blending all of the different styles, I'm not going to go into that today because that's not what this is about. I'm doing a quick check-in <laughs> to talk about how I just made a separate playlist talking about the hypno being hypnotized by physical beauty. I'm going to start, start a separate one. I'll probably put it also under personal empowerment journey <clears throat> for those that just want to hear about this. And what I failed to do Okay, so I put the intro, I put a number two and a number three. Um, and I had to go back and listen to them because I also have to talk about, I'll probably do two separate ones to make it seem, try to make it seem less confusing, is how, what at what point, age 30, that I released that power that was over me and how I recognized it was like a dark cloud over me and a weight was lifted, the anchor was lifted. And then also I will talk about how I did that. What are the different things that I did? And um, you're going to say that probably it sounds really simple because it's about developing hobby, hobbies, passions, just things for yourself. And then, you know, I ended up liking myself as a result. I was learning become more kick-ass now that I knew that with practice I could learn anything. I could learn anything with practice. So I'll be putting those up to that's my focus in the next couple of days to make them try to make them under 20 minutes as well and stay on track. Um, but it's really good. I think it's it's something that um, I've shared here and there, but not too much as far as the process. So the ages that I learned things, how it, when I went into adulthood, how I still carried some of those um, things that I told you about <clears throat> since this went to about 30 um, I did meet another, like, couple, one or two beautiful hot chicks. But then when I realized, again, I was like, okay, um, this is dumb. I'm not going to keep hanging out with them or talking to them or whatever if I don't like their attitude. You know, you might say at that point, like, 
anything, you know, that they're, are they being a bitch right now? Is this just me? What's going on? And, um, are they a narcissist? Whatever it is. So as we evolve in our relationships in life, realizing maybe what or who we don't want around us anymore, it's just maybe not a fit anymore and realizing were they really a friend and what's a friend and all that. Lastly, I wanted to say in this video, Again, remember my segments aren't always, I'm going to try to make them flow, but they're things that I want to talk about at this point in time. That's why I'm calling it the daily, the unfiltered, the uncensored, but I'm at least going to kind of make them short when I talk about way too much stuff. So to end this, I wanted to talk about etiquette, just in the sense that it's very important to me and how I was raised and different things like that, which is, I don't want to say it's different from a lot of people, but you got to come out the gate, I think, in meeting people. Um, to let them know how you are. And so for me, um, I wanted to say that for any reason, if you have any questions or whatever it is, and people make, I'm not really on social too much. You know, I try to not be on there because I get sucked in. Not only I get sucked in, I'm interested in other things. So I'm researching and things like that. But basically, if you ever try to make a comment or get a hold of me or anything like that, I will always respond. So if I don't respond, it's either that I didn't get it Maybe I'm busy. It's going to take me a couple of days, but also try to contact me in other ways. So whether it's mostly like Facebook, email, or on here, I think this does, it definitely will send you an email that says so-and-so commented, but you know, with technology, there could be some sort of reason um, that maybe it didn't get through or wasn't meant to be or the divine timing. So if it's something that you really want to know and you feel like I'm not answering, Unless it's crazy, so ridiculous that I would need an assistant to help me or ask my daughter or something, I'm always going to respond. So I feel like sometimes, too, this sort of situation is really more so for you all to connect with each other because I see, obviously, I see we all are engaging here. But there are regulars and they pretty much, you know, back and forth. It is, again, like another way to connect with each other. And of course, I want to support those of all of us that may feel, all of us that feel moments of loneliness to make comments or ask questions or somebody's going through something you're going through, obviously, on here, as a result of what I've been talking about, I want you to engage. So I just wanted to say that because I've learned so much in life in dealing with people and relationships, and I want to not judge and say it's a California or specific thing, even though they are known for being flakes here that that is very important to me. So I've had, I've been in, I don't even know, numerous situations where basically I didn't know if the person didn't respond because they were purposely ignoring me. Did they not get the message? Are they just way too bit, like they just forgot? I mean, there's so many different reasons I heard from people and I've heard. And Again, it's that building up resilience of just not taking it personally because you can take it so personally and you don't even know the answer. And sometimes it's literally the person didn't get the message. So long story short, that sort of stuff is important to me to at least acknowledge the person and um, go from there. So if you're interested, be looking out for those videos. I'm going to get them done in the next couple of days. Again, like I told you, I get overwhelmed with information, but um, I know that I can give that information. I think if I now I'm making more and more of my solos like this, I think it's actually easier for me to break down in shorter segments and just do it like that. And um, I used to timestamp, but I feel like YouTube doesn't really do it anymore. I never did anything and it would just time stamp it and you could just go to a specific specific area. So I still still don't know what the hell I'm doing sometimes with this. And I also don't know um, there's other programs where I can just type stuff in. So don't talk every time and you could just be reading this thing of my brief little ranting of the day. So um, that's all for now. I'll talk to you in the next video and see what happens um, today. I'm starting a new job. So I will have Tomorrow, I'll have some stories with that, I'm sure, getting back into community and it is dealing with customer service and all of that. So I'll definitely have stories this week. Okay, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.